MD Prepper here, showing you my latest project, the All Unnatural Beehive. Now, there's a lot of folks out there doing all natural and organic everything out there, essential oils and everything else. Well, maybe that's right, maybe that's wrong, but let's see what we can get with the modern conventional all unnatural version of things. I like being a bit avant-garde and different, so we're going to see how things work out. Now, I'm a rookie beekeeper, so I may just screw this up, but I figure why not? I've got uh, two new hives coming, so of bees or a package of bees. So we're going to run one in this all unnatural setup. If you check my old videos that I've just posted recently, you'll see all this gear reviewed individually. We're just going to see how things run. Why not? Learn by doing. Don't learn by reading the internet. Do it yourself. So at the top, we've got the ultimate high top cover that I got from Brushy Mountain Bee Company. $25, I think. I've done a review on this already. Um, some issues already with the hive top feed are going to have to cover up some of these holes so bees and other insects don't get in there. But we'll see how that goes. Put that aside. Here's our plastic hive top feeder, which I've done a review on already. We'll see how that goes. Now this isn't going to be on there forever, obviously, but there it is. Next, we've got our mother load propylene frames. These are without the insulation covers for right now because we're getting into late spring and early summer. I'll add these if the hive survive. We've got plastic frames in here. Yeah, I know, sacrilege, whatever. I'm going to try it because, well, being fine is what I do. So you got those in there. And then taking this off, you've got the ultimate bottom board, which we've already got our view on, with ventilated bottom here, insert reducers, etc. Like I said, I've already got a review on this. Um, got the stands on it. I do not have the little offsets and higher stands with the bee trap, not bee traps, the ant traps with oil in them because I don't think I'm going to need those in my current stand, which is a metal stand. So here it is. I've got an additional super by Mother Load that looks just like this one. And I've got two shallow supers as well if I am fortunate enough to have those um, and need those this time around. Probably won't be next till next season I need those. So here it is without the high top feeder. So, the All Unnatural Bee Project, um, unlike my other hives, I'm, which I'm going to be trying to do oils and other natural remedies if I have any infestations or any problems, this one, this hive, once I get it started, is going to be all chemical based. It's going to be all modern techniques, just to see how they fare. And I know one is not a very good sample size, but it's all I'm going to do this year, just because I'm new to this. I don't want to spend a fortune on things. So, just think it's an interesting project. I like being a bit different trying things differently because maybe it works out. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So wish me luck or wish me the worst if you're one of those all natural folks. But we'll see. I just want to try things out. Andy Prepper out.